Well, hello and welcome to a new video. Um, in this video, I am going to show you how do you use Eclipse to plot uh, charts. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and see what we need. For this uh, application, we need to have Eclipse, of course, downloaded and installed in your system. And we're going to use a library called Xchart. Now, this is the link for the Xchart library, which I'm going to include in the description. And what you need to do, you need to download this uh, version here. So click download, it will automatically download the software for you. Now I can close this window. If I go to my download folder, you'll see it here. Now all we have to do is extract files, extract to, and here it is. This is the folder. If you click on the folder, you'll see those two folders. Click on the one uh, pointing at here. And those are the files that you have here. Now, what you need to do, very, very important, is to open this README file. Now, if you have a Notepad software, then go ahead and open it with that Notepad++, plus plus, but you need a text editor to open it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Notepad. And here is the file. This is very, very important, of course. So I'm going to minimize this. And remember here, we do have uh, this file here is extremely important, the XJAR 3.8.0 JAR. So I'm going to keep it here. And let's go to Eclipse now. When you go to Eclipse, you need to create a new project. But this time, it's going to be a very, very special project. It's not going to be a Java project. You need to go and click on Others. And from the Others, you'll see a menu like the one that you see here. You're supposed to choose Math in here. Click on it and you cl and choose Math and Project. And you click Next. Now you see a new window is going to open. Say, click on this, Create a Simple Project. And you click Next. And you will see this window now this is extremely important this window here so <coughs> what i'm going to be doing i am going to go to the text file that i just opened from the project and i'm going to go all the way down this is where we say adding dependencies like if you go and try to run this traditionally you will have issues you'll have a lot of issues and problems so what we're going to do here this is the part he's asking for these informations the group id again if this this information could be found at the bottom of this readme file so we have a group ID. You have to copy that. And you go back to Eclipse and you put the group ID here. Very, very important to follow these uh, lines and instructions. And you're in X chart, control C, and you put X charts here. And then after that, you need to get the version, which is 3.8, one snap, shoot, control C. And you go and you replace that one here and you should be good to go now you click on finish and you wait for it and here it is this is the group as you can see here there's a lot of folders don't worry about them okay the first thing we need to do here is to um, click on the project again and we need to include the library file that i showed you so when you right click on the project itself and you go to uh, build a path or build path and you go all the way to the bottom here configure build path it's going to open this new window make sure you choose libraries here and then you click on uh, system library here you click on add external jar file now the external jar file which i just downloaded here it's in this folder click on it and you click on it here and it's this one not the demo the, this one click on that and you click apply and now you should find it here somewhere oh if it's not there just go ahead and refresh your page and here it is. So this is the library which I included. Look at this org x and x chart, all of them. So we have no problems here. We got that part covered. Now we click on the src, and you click add a new class. And this time, for example, I'm going to call it main class, and I'm going to make sure that I include a header file. Sorry, uh, the main function. And here it is. Now here's what I'm going to do. This is again for ter for testing only. I'm going to go to the top of this file. He gave you an example here. Just to test it and see if it's going to work or not. So I'm going to copy this test segment of code and I'm going to put it inside my main function. And of course he's complaining about a lot of things which I can fix in a sec, but this is two arrays x data y data both of them are doubles and those are the values and then i'm going to try to throw it and, and, and create a chart for it so here's what we need to do he's complaining about these uh, classes again those classes i just included them here when i uh, uh, 
and go to this library here. So all you have to do is just put the mouse here and import. And do the same thing here. Import. Put the mouse here and import. And now we should have no problems. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Run it. And here we go. This, by the way, took me really, really long time to figure this out. But I am so glad I was able to do that. Now, if, if you want it to be a little bit more sophisticated, just make those two arrays a little bit longer and see the results and how it's going to look like. So this is basically what um, you're supposed to do. Now, of course, if you go back to the file here, it's going to show you some examples about how do you save the chart that you just created here in a form of uh, a picture and it's going to be saved in your computer system. So you'll see an example of that. And you'll see a lot of examples in this area here which again very very helpful so um, again this will be the end of this video and I hope this was helpful thank you for watching see you later